Think. All right, y'all. What up? It's your boy Corey Roy. Um, I am a little bit early today. Um, just figure since uh, all the man, I'm a little dark in here. I got to see if I can move <clears throat> over here to where the blue light is a little bit better. Let's see here. That's a bit better. All right. Let's see here. Boom. Okay, cool. <clears throat> All right. So we have a tiebreaker between Pop and Flow and Cyborg. Um, I think what happened last time was uh, Pop and Flow uh, did an edit on his video, which looks phenomenal. However, it did give him a little bit of an edge uh, over Cyborg. So this time we have no editing at all. And actually, let me grab a chair. Here we go. Yeah. Chair. Check. Footage. Check. Judgment. Check. Let's get this done. Okay. So first up, let's check out Popping Flow. Most made to speak from the word of take. All good. Most made to speak from the word of take. It's the hate on double G. And I do it so lovely. And you can just check my teeth. No, it's going for the same. Go back. All good. Most made to speak from the word of take. It's the hate on double G. And I do it so lovely. Check you out, homie. More space. I see you. It's like I gotta turn this up. Come on, what I'm supposed to do? 
I've ever seen you dance. What? He went in. Okay, now I have to be more like um, um, nitpicky, really analyzing. Let's see here. I like the build up. I like how you're using your space and your dancing in 3D sense. That was nice. I love how that pause right there was. Love the grooves. Mm -hmm. I don't like how you're looking down a lot here, though. But that speed change was nice. Oh, that's crazy. Is it just me or is he seeming a little bit offbeat? Just a little bit. It's like you're... Sometimes you're a little bit early. Sometimes you're just a little bit late. See, you're not offbeat there. That's crazy. Ooh, I like the drop. Um, I think this round was really crazy. Um, I think though there was a lot of times when the texture of your dancing seemed to be the same. Um, like, um, like towards the beginning, like you were like grooving the same groove for a long time. And I found myself like kind of spacing away, like checking out a little bit, you know? Um, and then I noticed that I'm like, oh crap, I'm not watching. So I have like to replay and watch it again. And it's like, the reason why my mind is doing that is because the texture in which you're dancing isn't changing enough. Let me watch it one time. That was tight. It was a really nice build up. Uh. 
good. That was tight. That was clean. So right here. This is tight. That was already eight counts of eight. So right here is where I wanted to see you like turn it up. But so you're still on that same groove. And then you turn it up here. For like a little bit. And then you're back onto this groove here. This was tight. Hmm. Hmm. That was dope. So this energy here, I think you should have kept this and like really turn it up even more here. So this is where I think I checked out at because it's a lot of the same groove. Is like your timing, like the the round was. So, the way that your round was, it was like, it built up, it built up, and then it was nice, and then it went back down, and then it was nice, and then it went back down, and it was nice, and it went back down, and it was nice, and it went down, and it was nice, and then the ending was nice. You know, you just did that though. But it, I wish the ending was like bigger, like more explosive. And towards the end, you you lost the hits for me. At least it, it just didn't look like it was. Maybe it was real small. Yeah, so like the hits are like real small right now. That was nice. Boom. Oh. So right here, so yeah, I, I think the, the round in general uh, wasn't as um, creative, um, I'm trying to find out what I want to say. Mm. I like, so don't get me wrong, this round is amazing. It's like a really, really, really dope round. I enjoyed the grooves that you did. I enjoyed um, the different angles that you're doing, like the way that you were looking around. I enjoyed how you utilize waves and um, I enjoyed how the, like the patience that you have. Like the, the one part where you waited and then went pow. You know, that, I thought that was really, really powerful. Um, I think what could have been better was turning up, um, like changing the texture more often, right? Because if, if I can show you what I mean, you're like in this pocket for a really long time. And then when you turned it up, you're like, and then you're back. For a really, really long time. And I found myself like, um, checking out, like I found myself losing um, interest in the what you were doing because you, were, you kept doing the same, you know, pocket. So maybe, Figuring out other pockets that you can dance to, um, like uh, for example, instead of going boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, ka, you can go boom, 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 ka, boom, 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 ka, boom, 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 ka, boom, boom, ka, boom, 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 ka. Like, uh, 
versus just boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, ka, boom, ka, boom. You know, like if you stay in that same pocket for so long, it's I feel like you know, it's like watching a rerun on uh, an episode, you know, on um, your Netflix. Like you just you watched it the first time. It was dope. And then when you watch it again, it's like, it was still dope, but it's like it, it, it lost some of its glamour. And then you watch it the third time, you stop paying attention to it. So what I'm, all that means is that what I'm saying is like, turn, change the texture a bit more often so that you don't lose the viewer's interest, if that makes sense. But regardless of that, still a really, really fire round. So if that was me really nitpicking the round there. Okay, Cyborg, let's watch yours again and, and nitpick. I love how you smile, you know, like you got a really nice smile. Boom. Really dope hit, man. Nice. I wish when you um, do those steps, when you do those walkouts, that you actually walked out, you know? Uh, because oftentimes, at least this is the first thing that I noticed, was when you would, when you would do this, this is a walkout here. You, you know, you actually walk out. But you're like, mm. like you're going to walk out, but then you're going to go back and then you do this then you're gonna like that and then you go back Boom. maybe next time you do this actually take a walk you know and and do whatever you want here you know um but yeah i uh, what that looks like is like a it looks like a reset at least you know to me but i think that still really 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 nice man um, that's like a really minor thing too. Like um, it's just going back to adding more, very like um, going back to adding more variation to what you're doing. You know. So let's go back so you can see. Bam! Super hard hits, man. So dope. So dope right here. So you take it a step, and then you go back to the center. You step, go back to the center. That speed change, though. Oh my goodness! You see, you did it again, and then you step back into the center, and then the four time. Mm. Uh. Oh, oh shoot, side boys. I have to avoid stepping on my cat. Oh, I feel that. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. I think we're back. All right, let me let me hit back soon because I missed something. character that you have on this one is really nice man like ooh the smoke I love how you're looking around that head is just so nasty mm, mm. Woo. and see how like you're changing your texture so much. That's nice, man. Keep that. Because that grabs the attention of the audience, you know? It keeps them stimulated. Ooh. With the robot. Ugh. Nice, man. I wish the ending 
was like something bigger, you know. Um, and I think that they were the gate. They were gatekeeping. <laughs> nice man. Um, I think, and this can go with anybody. Like the anatomy of a freestyle. I'm gonna talk about this because I think this is important for um, all of us to understand. When you um, are doing a freestyle, anatomy of a freestyle is like a paragraph or a story, right? You have the intro, you have the middle, and you have the ending. The intro is like the introduction, which is what you did, you know, both, both of you guys did that. You have the meat and potatoes, the body, which is both what both of you guys did too. But the ending, the conclusion is like the climax. It's like the, you know, like the thing that you gotta wow people, like the, the lasting, lasting impression is very, very important. I think Pop, uh, Poppy Flo had a better ending than Cyborg, but he, his was like, Tss, and then that was it. Um, Cyborg, you just went, boom, and then that was it, you know? So no, I take that back. Both, we, both of the endings were like the same, you know? Um, so if I were to end it, I would've been like, so my intro, and then boom, cool, we're chilling, we're chilling, ooh. Ooh, 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 and then meat and potato. Ka, ooh, ta, di, da, bo, ju, da, ooh, change low, ba, la, da, ko, ha, here, right here, right here, step, ooh, ah, da, ka, ka. And then I'm getting ready for my ending, and I'm going, ooh, 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 something crazy like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. And then that, that, that's how I would have ended. It's like something crazy, something big, you know. Um, I actually had a better ending, but it went over two minutes. Oh, dang. <laughs> okay, well, that's kind of when you just kind of pace yourself and time yourself and move it forward, you know. Oh, I feel that. But that's what I mean by, like, um, the anatomy of a freestyle, like the the ending is kind of like just as important as everything else, you know. So have it trying to end at the mark, I think is really important too, um, to see if you can. But aside from all of that, that was just me nitpicking. Still a fire round. Still the most crazy I've seen you go this entire round, you know, like this is probably the best round that I've seen you do to the top. I was vibing. <laughs> Feel that. Um, okay, one more time. I want to watch it one more time. I want to be as analytical as I can. changes man you need to do those more often that's crazy the the, the waving speed changing waves that's what i'm learning from popping tire right now uh, i think what's really dope about this round is you kept the same intensity the entire time which is really hard but because you kept the same intensity, it's not like it didn't look the same, you know? It's like you're using different intensity, but it's all like the same. Which is really hard to do. That just tells me that you have like so many textures in your belt. Crazy ways, bro. Those warps, man. Ooh. 
All right, so here's my verdict. Um, both dancers wore um, incredibly high level rounds. I think when, when it comes to creativity, Cyborg takes that for me. When it comes to technique, both of you were pretty even. Uh, and then when it comes to originality, I'm gonna have to give it to Cyborg. Um, because he like he kept my like you kept my attention more because you kept changing your texture and doing different things and um, changing your levels and um, changing timing changing like you went from hard hits to smooth waves but the waves still had that same intensity it was like looking at um, uh, a rough carpet versus smooth silk, you know, but both of them were like blowing in the wind at the same rate. It, it was just, it was just a really, really crazy round, you know, and I love the textures. Also, I love the facial features that you were doing, just smiling. And I think you look down way less in this round than Poppy Flow did. So, um, pop and flow, I think um, just having more textures, playing with speed changes and, and having um, more variety in, in timing and in technique and dancing, uh, I think would really, really help you um, in the future. I, I felt like you didn't really Feel like you could get into this song so you just kind of did, did did what you need to so um i think that that is another thing that that uh had an effect in my decision was cyborg looked like he was way more into the song than than you were pop and flow so yeah cyborg congratulations man you go into the finals hey um, but hey, y'all, give me, do me a favor, give Pop and Flow all the love and all the credit because honestly, like, he put in so much work into the battle, man. Like, even the edits, like, I know the edits weren't very fair, but man, you know how long it takes to edit those videos, dude? Like, the small zooms in and the cuts and stuff like that. Um, his prelim one was bananas. It, had, it started with like water and stuff like that. So yeah, like give him all the love and all the respect because my man did his thing for real, did his thing. Um, incredible dancers. And I'm just so grateful that you guys allowed me to judge you and, and you know, give you critiques and stuff like that. Honestly, I like, I think somebody said it in the chat uh, before, but man, I would love to meet and vibe in, in, in session with all of you, man. Like, I think that um, this could be a, a nice way to start like a little family or community within the Core Road brand. So again, I really appreciate you guys and I'm gonna um, post the winner uh, for the finals. And man, I got some heat for y'all. You can't, I can't. It's gonna be it's gonna be um, two rounds for the finals. For the finals, two rounds. So I'm gonna pick two songs, uh, and oh, fabric. Honestly, I want to learn how to edit like that, bro. Make sick videos. That was me. <laughs> yeah, bro. Um, Premiere. I use Premiere, uh, but there's also another software called uh, what was it called? Um, Laura Flum, Filmora, Filmora, Filmora uh, is pretty dope too, Filmora. Uh, I think it's way cheaper than Premiere as well, so uh, check that out. But yeah, good job, y'all. Uh, again, give Pop and Flow some love, y'all. Please, please give him some love. Uh, and uh, congratulations, Cyborg. And I appreciate y'all. I will talk to you very soon.